They just spilled out a fresh cart. Well, we are here today at the Good Villa of Le Moyne. We didn't travel very far, but I, I have a shop to shop today at 4 p.m. Eastern, and I couldn't get very far and get back in time. So we're gonna head in here and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. That looks interesting. It's Germany. Um, $3.99. Ocean Grove. It is a souvenir. I think I'm gonna pick up this souvenir. We were just here last week, so I'm sure we're gonna see some of the same, but I'm hoping there's some new stuff on the shelves. That is a shaker set. Speckled stoneware. I'm assuming it's probably, um, oh, there's still salt in there. Um, <laughs> I'm assuming it's probably Japanese. Those are pretty. Ooh, those are studio pottery. I really love the glaze on those. And why are they not signed? <laughs> why did you not sign them? I really love the glaze, like a celadon glaze. I'm not take those with me. $4.99 and $4.99. I like it. Let's stick them in there. Here we go. That little thing is awfully cute. <laughs> and has the texture of Ray Dunn. I like it. There's a mini picture. Who is this guy? He's adorable. He looks like he's supposed to be sitting on something. He's got a peg. Those are fun cups. They have eagles on them. Made in Italy. Oh my goodness, you know what? Those match um, one of the employee decanters I've, I've seen. I like those with the eagles. We'll grab those. <laughs> like, what is that, a turtle? No, it's not a turtle. It's one of those back massager thingies. Um, the vases kind of are leaving much to be desired. There's not a whole lot of excitement happening over here. That is Betty May, 1981. I am a black cat. That is so adorable, but you can see the graphic is wearing off on that because it was put through the dishwasher too many times. $1.99. That should have had a stopper. It's ground on the inside. I see some Czechoslovakia. This faux wood is usually Czechoslovakia, but you can see there's a giant crack. That's a bummer. I usually pick those up when I find them. I think they're really darling. <laughs> what is this? You know that little Santa would fit right there on that post. <laughs> Probably doesn't cut it. Hey, look! Italian! There should be two parts to this, though. I wonder if we walk around long enough if we'll find the other half of it. <laughs> I'm gonna grab it. It's $2.99. Um, ooh, I love finding little bags of vases. They aren't very exciting, though. There is a Twinella in there, but I don't think I want to buy that. There's some bisque porcelain for $1.99. It's a little pansy. That's Stangle, $1.99. I wish it was like a more vibrant color, but $1.99 on the Stangle. Those are cute. Um, who makes those? Uh, Collins? Hmm, I can't remember. <laughs> I can never remember. I don't know why I always draw a blank when I find those. Let's go this way. I'd love to find the rest of that. Italian piece, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. That's a fun bottle with the monkey on it. And then we have some on sand art. That is interesting. No markings on it. Kind of a cool shape. I think I'll leave it though. And uh, I'm gonna check over here. I wonder if maybe the... Oh, hey, look. I bought and sold this before. This was a uh, MMA reproduction, I think. It's $1.99. There's still a little bit of money to be made there. Put it in there. What kind of 
creature is this? It looks like a bird on four legs. <laughs> That's really funny. I like it. I'm gonna leave it, but I like it. That thing is weird. It's weird enough that I like it. What is this supposed to be? A sea urchin? I don't know. But I'm gonna take it with me. That's a great way to buy things. I don't know what it is, so I'm going to buy it. Ooh. Tonala? That's weird. It looks like Tonala, but it's like a weird Tonala. It's kind of a naked Tonala. <laughs> naked Tonala duck. $4.99. I like it. I'll pay $4.99 for that. Okay, well I'm over here in the holiday section. I figured I'd give it a peek. Why not? Salvation Army Harrisburg Limited Edition. We still have all of these like local Harrisburg area ornaments over here. This is neat. What is this? I kind of like him. <laughs> also, I don't want to hold on to him until next year. If I buy anything Christmas, it has to be amazing. And that's not amazing enough. It's amazing, but not amazing enough. So I will leave it here. <laughs> Was that a vintage potholder? That is amazing. Okay, no, it's not. It's not vintage. It wants to be vintage. Could it be? Could it be? It is not. Of course it's not. It was never going to be a glassy baby because I'm never going to find a glassy baby. I've decided. <laughs> not in the wild, anyway. All right, I figured I'd look through the candle holders, see if there's any more of those amazing studio pottery pieces, but does not look like it. There is a pressed glass bowl. What do you think these are supposed to be? <laughs> these are weird. They're like a good weird, but they're definitely weird. What is this? That is made in Portugal. It is a pretzel bowl. Ask me how I know that. <laughs> that is so much fun. I kind of am in love with this bowl. I'm going to put it in my cart because it's fun. Here's a nice little dish. Is this anchor hawking? I think it is. I forget, is this uh, oyster or something? Something? Did I remember that? I don't know. I don't know at $3.99. I can't remember. Vitroc? Is it Vitroc? I think I'm gonna leave it. I don't think, I don't think there's so very much room there. Go down this way. Oh, oh, look! Hi. I like that. Who makes that? Made in China. Gorum. It's a Gorum tidbit. That's really sweet with the Christmas trees. Maybe I'll look that one up. That'll be a look up. November chrysanthemum. Made exclusively for domestications. <laughs> I think this is a little home co butterfly here. Ooh, they just spilled out a fresh cart. That's pretty fancy, but um, it's very large and heavy, and I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave it. Made in China. I was hopeful. <laughs> Maybe too hopeful. What is that down there? I think that's like a mass produced thing. Alright. I do really love this pot here. I think I'm gonna grab that. Okay, well that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know the marking there on the bottom. I'm not familiar with that, so I might put it back on the shelf. Not on his cart, but I'll put it away. Um, and then I grabbed these. Um, are those? No, those aren't Starbucks. Maybe this one? You are here. Which one is this? This is, you are somewhere. Oh, Ohio. Oh my gosh, that's so great. I'll actually be in Ohio here in a few weeks again. 
Seems I'm making that trip a lot these days. All right. Well, I'm going to put this back. I only found a few comps on it. Um, well, on similar plates, and it just didn't really seem worth it. So I'm going to set that back on the shelf, and then I'm going to take off. All right. I feel like that was a pretty successful trip to Goodwill. Uh, we got some neat stuff. I mean, there was nothing that really hit it out of the park, but we're going to make some money, and that's the name of the game. Um, so I'm going to go around the corner now to enjoy some sushi, and then I think I'm going to take you guys back to the shop, and we're going to prepare for a continuation of my what not anniversary <laughs> because I had um, some items that I didn't get into the what not anniversary sale after I capped myself at 112 so um, high quality cool stuff um, but I'm having another sale on February 4th 2024 um, at 6 p.m. Eastern, and we have got to prepare for it. So, um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do after lunch. All right, so I am processing stuff. Uh, moving it onto the table. I'm having my um, Shop the Shop sale this evening. I had mentioned that earlier. Um, so as I'm going through stuff, I'm kind of deciding, do I wanna put this in my Sunday sale, which is all preloaded, have it all organized, or, or is it gonna just sit on the table and maybe I'll run it tonight? I don't know. Um, but that's kind of what I'm doing right now as I'm going through boxes and cleaning stuff and processing it. Um, she'll be still having car trouble, so I'm not sure when she will be in. And the show must go on, so I'm doing doing that today. I did just pull out this fairy light top. Uh, that is a peach blow. I don't know who makes it. Um, that is going to go in my, in my February 4th sale along with this. Uh, pigeon forge ashtray with the owl on it there's there's a hallmark here and there's a hallmark here but i can't really make them out um and i don't see anything on the lid it looks like it could be silver you know i was researching something else the other day and i don't I came, think this is plate I, I came across one that was exactly the same and it said it was sterling. It had the same pineapple bakelite finial. It, it really looks, it, it has the look of sterling. I mean, and if it is, it's heavy. This can't say that word. This, this, this fudger's heavy. I thought that's what you said. That's what I said. I said I, fudger. I thought maybe. Yes, I said fudger. Okay, just checking. This, this fudger's heavy. Good. Yeah, um, if it is, it's, it's definitely not American made because it's not hallmarked American. Those aren't American hallmarks. So this is this is a European piece. So it may not even be sterling. It could be uh, European standard is eight, eight three eight, five. Eight, I thought it was eight fifty. Uh, no, it's either eight hundred or eight three five is their standard oh, usually. That's right, yeah. But this this definitely has the right look for silver versus plate because the plate usually has like a blue hue to it, like a bluish purplish hue. And I can spot that stuff a mile away. That's junk. It's not that? junk. It's so, beautiful. See, see how like rainbowy that is. Yeah. And see how that's not turning rainbowy too much. Like that, I can tell. That I can see, and I know that's plate. It's a cool candlestick, Andrew. It's all right. I've stripped a lot of these that were actually silver. That's a horrible thing to say on video. Yeah, and it's marked silver plate, too. <laughs> right, on the, right on the bottom there. You know, I can't read sometimes when I'm thrifting. But this one, <laughs> this one being hallmarked, I'm, I'm going to say that it's most likely European. And I say that because... See, and there's the seam... This is this is this was put together really nice. This was done. This somebody somebody professional made this. Really, I just bought it because of the big light finial. Yeah, well, I would take that off and scrap the rest of the silver. Well, that's fine because it's crooked anyway. It got bent. And I don't think that's the right. Um, well, it might be. It's bent. You see, it doesn't. Doesn't sit right. No. <laughs> so I just reuse the finial on something else. And the top part of that finial is silver. That's silver. Look at you picking off my table like a, like a. Well, I, don't, I can I don't smell know this stuff can. a mile away, though. You smelled it from the door, at least. 
Although it's been sitting there for weeks, you didn't notice well, it. Well, it's because I haven't looked at the table really. <laughs> I'd like to know what the hallmarks are. I'd like to identify it before you sell it. If you had to pick anything off of this table to put in our February 4th sale, what would it be? Ooh. Um. You got it over here that looks fun. It better not be my glasses because I just haven't That's taken cool. them. That's cool. That's cool. Those are cool. Those are mine. I'm taking them home. These are cool. This is cool. <laughs> Um, one thing, I Andrew. Like these. <laughs> I like those. That. I like that. 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 There's a bunch of good stuff here. This is cool. These napkin rings. Are stuck in those are oh, Oleg Cassini. They're taped in there. Those are nice. Original box, too. Yeah. Just doesn't have the lid. Yeah, no, you got a bunch of great stuff here. Well, what would you put in the sale if you could pick one item? I just pointed out a bunch well, of stuff. Well, you can only pick one. I can only pick one. Well, I already have 41 items preloaded. So. This one. Well, I already have the swan that matches that. Do we want two pieces of that in there? That's why I left that on the table. This one. Okay. <laughs> I got this out of um, the basement at Founders Crossing, and I feel like you But if you have a matchy match piece to this, why wouldn't you put this in the sale with the matchy match piece? Because they just look the same. I don't think they're actually like matchy matchies. But somebody might like that color scheme and want to like have some matchy match stuff, so I would put that in the sale. Okay, so you pick two. Yes. Okay, fine. Grab it and stick it on the card. <laughs> I will allow it. That might be worth putting in the sale. I just love that. Piece. I've always loved this design. I believe it's a Wayne Husted design. Put that on there. The bird. I'm debating the bird. You know what? I would love to keep it. It's that Vassalo, Vassalo bird. <laughs> you don't need it. You've already collected Anderson pottery. And this stuff is expensive. It's not the thing you want to collect. You rarely come across it in the wild, so. And at least the Anderson pottery I find often enough. Um, 1991. Dun, dun, dun. I'm getting rid of my music box. I'm moving along the bird. Okay, birdie. I have two of these master blue salts. So I may as well put one in there. Um, decisions, decisions. I have a ton of these. Maybe I only have three. For some reason, I thought I had more than that. I guess there's only three. <laughs> That's a ton. <laughs> um... Maybe we grab one sand dollar. It's a pretty green. Still has some tape residue there on the back. So where does that leave us? Let's see. 42. That's where I'm at right now. For three, four, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, nine, fifty-five. All right. Five more. And then I feel good about this. And this owl soap. And I think it's a soap and toothbrush holder set. It could also be a smoking set. Those are two very, very different things. <laughs> because if you bought it, you could use it however you want. Birds. That's two birds. That is gorgeous. We'll put that down there. The wiener dog decanter. Is gonna love shipping that one. And then this. This is an oil white by Tater Knob. I feel like I probably have somewhere a shade to go with this. Maybe. I think these would work. I think they're just bent in, so it's gonna take two hands, but I think that's just the right size. So, um, perfect. We'll sell it all as one whole apparatus. I may still sneak a few things into this sale, but I think that's it for this video. Um, we had pretty good luck at Goodwill. My shop the shop sale starts in about 10 minutes, so I have to now switch gears and prep for that, which doesn't take very long. I guess nothing is preloaded, which is really nice. 
But I'm really excited for this February 4th sale. I have some really exciting stuff loaded into the sale. I'll give you guys a peek at that before I completely end the video. Um, but it should be fun. It's like a what not a anniversary sale continued. And um, <laughs> to have some, some exciting stuff. So um, yeah, let me give you a peek at my shelf of what I have loaded. And uh, other than that, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. And the perfume. I forgot the perfume was canceled. So we can sell that again. All right, here it is, folks. This is everything that I already have preloaded. All of the goodness. We have the Viking cat back there that was canceled. And down here, the Murano. Little MCM. The music. And then check in the pulpit. Swarovski. So hopefully I'll see you there.